<clears throat> so that woman that told me that uh, they're my boys change, they have they spraying some of this stuff on me and it makes my boys change. But uh, that woman that came over here and told me that there was no bus this coming year until Monday, she lied to me. That's what I'm saying. None of these things around me can I trust anything they say. They say. She kept telling me to go over there to the bathroom, take it out. There's a water fountain over there. Because I asked her, is there anywhere around here to get water? She would not tell me where shore was. I wonder why. Because I say, well, my main priority is to get water. Why wouldn't she tell me where's the nearest store? But. Uh, she kept saying, you can go over there by the bathroom. They got water over there. You can go over there and make a fire and keep warm because it's cold here. You can keep warm. Uh, you sleep behind the bathroom. Now, the more I think about it, the more it reminds me about when I first got out August the 3rd. These things, they jail at the Chowchilla, my cellmates, who I kept having a problem with. They were drug dealers and major time drug users. But uh, they knew things about being in my jail cell that they shouldn't have known. And they were telling me that the officer said I was never, the officer was saying, officers were saying, I'll never make it out of that CCW alive. But you guys know uh, God has my back and I always uh, put stuff out there to keep my back covered. And, uh, then when the officers wasn't bothering me anymore, and I know they was in line because one sergeant, Sergeant, uh, what was his name? He told me that I asked him to speak to a Roberts. I asked him, can I speak to a sergeant? And he told me I have to go to 504 to speak to a sergeant. 504 is death row in CCW. So he thought he was funny by telling me I have to go to death row to talk to a sergeant. That was Sergeant Roberts. But at any rate, uh, my roommates were telling me since I shut that down uh, and uh, filed on grievances that I'm going to make a part two. I'll be back.